Worldwide Jets, Worldwide Mets. On The Breakfast Club. She's a coach or two. She was able to get y'all to see something and understand something that nobody could get you to see. It's time to set it off. Now, it was uh, celebrities coming to Diddy's support. I mean, and listen, we can't expect nobody to just not support him. You know what I mean? So it just, it just, it is what it is. But I found interest in this. Uh, Teray shares his um, personal experience. This might have been 10, 12 years ago that I called him and say, hey, I have a family member who I want you to hire them as an intern. And he said, yes. And they were flying around, one of the interns, Atlanta, Miami, whatever, on the jet, in the house, whatever. And then the internship stopped abruptly, like three or four months into it. Yeah. And I spoke to my family member, like, well, what happened? And they wouldn't say. And years later, they finally came out, and this is a male, yeah. and said that Puff had said, come home, stay the night with me, or the internship is over. And they said, absolutely not. And the internship ended. I think, and, and for those who don't know Teray, Teray is a journalist. Um, he was recently on M MSNBC with Joy Ann Reed. Mm -hmm. Now, while I think it is completely effed up for somebody to be like, all right, it's over. You got the job. If you don't do this, it's over. But it's like, if you gave a nigga a choice and he turned it down. You can't say the N-word. You can't. Oh, my God, yo. <laughs> and we live. Yesterday. Okay, yes. so if you gave. A, a person. Okay. If you gave a Iga a choice mm -hmm. and they turned it down, it's like, yo, okay. Like, you feel me? Like It's still wrong in the workplace. It is though. still yeah, wrong. If you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're a superior and you're doing that to somebody who's under you, that's an abuse of power. Yeah, yes. it, it is. It's wrong. But, like, it's, I don't know. Maybe my mind is a little dark and sick. Mm -hmm. I don't I know. You're saying. You're but saying it's they, just gave, like, they gave him a choice. But it's you like still there's no gun to your head. There's no... Like that ties into you know yes, all but you of this. Still got to think about the position that the person is in. Now, anytime, yeah. anytime you're a superior, it's a boss, a person, a position of power, and you're doing that to somebody who's uh you know alleged, uh, under you. Under you, that's, yeah. That's that's, that's wrong. Uh, no. Yeah, that's like, wrong that, and against that, the law. That, that's, 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 that's why, why I didn't say that first. That. Yeah. It is wrong. It's mm -hmm. absolutely wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on. Daphne Joy and uh, Young Miami accused of being sex workers, sex workers for Diddy. Now this is more of Lil Rod's uh, allegations that's coming out in his lawsuit filing he claimed that Daphne Joy and Young Miami were being paid a monthly allowance to be uh, Diddy's sex workers in my opinion now Daphne Joy is, uh, Daphne Joy is 50 cent baby mama or whatever mm -hmm. right my opinion okay if you are having sex with a rich dude right mm -hmm. you give it they, he giving you money anyway it's like it's a sugar daddy situation so like sex worker that's a bit crazy now if you look at it and a, and a whole, it's, it's how you look at it. You look at it in a whole nother light. Okay, trips, bags, all that. Daphne was messing with him at one point. Young Miami was messing with him at one point. They get awarded for messing with him. Is like, this why 50 don't like Diddy so much? I believe this is a big reason why. I'm sure it's that, part of it. This mm. was, that's, because that's what 50 used to talk about all the time. He used, he was starting, he was like messing with his baby mother all the time on social media about dealing with Diddy. See, I be so, off the loop because I ain't know none of this. It's, yeah, it's part of that. It's, it's part yeah, of the Mace situation. Right, I was going to say, that's Mace. not it, but yeah, it's, that, it's, made, that fueled it as well. He just mm -hmm. think, he think, I think he think 50 is, I mean, I think he think Diddy a sucker. That's, he just don't rock Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, then Young Miami allegedly transported drugs for Diddy. So uh, he also claimed that Young Miami trafficked the drugs. The filing says that Diddy did a drug called Pink Cocaine or Tusi. I didn't know they came in color. Somebody put me on the Tusi yesterday. They told me what it was. Oh, you did it? Oh, no, oh, hell no. Put him on to it yesterday. I was like, well, yeah, I mean, if, I, if I did it, I wouldn't be here today. I'd probably die. <laughs> right. But they said it's uh, cocaine and Molly mixed and together. Molly mixed, yeah, yeah. It's for a good time, supposedly. What the hell? It's, it's a combination, <laughs> yeah, so it's a combination of ecstasy uh, and cocaine. And he said Diddy was rehearsing for something in the water festival uh, when he wanted to paint cocaine, but allegedly his drug mule, Brendan, forgot to bring it, so Diddy's chief of staff allegedly called Young Miami and told her to bring it on a jet from Miami to Virginia. So now they, she's an alleged drug mule too. It's yeah, but it's like, yo, if my dude forgot his weed, you know, if his assistant forgot to bring his weed, you know what I mean? All right, call call Jess and have I bring my weed. You're looking at it from the street the, perspective, though. Yeah, they, that, they looking at it from the eyes of the law. In the eyes of the law, <laughs> that's what they look at these people that have drug Yeah, but is that, a, is that a drug so mule is if your girl is bringing you some, no, some smoke? On. Listen, I understand what y'all are saying. I'm just telling y'all from the eyes of the law. Okay. They're looking at it like, no, she's a drug mule. The yeah. words that they're using to 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 further try to to make this allegedly. man look bad allegedly, yeah, it's just crazy, and that's what Uncle Luke was saying. So basically, Uncle Luke was saying that they just 
putting extra stuff on top of it. And he feels his theory is that because he uh, sued, because Diddy sued uh, Sala- Bellagio, Diageo. Diageo, Diageo, right? Mm-hmm. That they started a smear campaign to, you know, make him look even worse in the public eye for what he's going through now. But didn't that lawsuit already get settled? Yeah, they, they settled it, settled. but the fact that he went after them, like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's Uncle Luke's um, theory on it. And then uh, the good brother Tyrese was praying for Diddy's kids. Play number three. Last night before I went to sleep, I found myself praying for Diddy's kids. I was thinking about Justin and Christian Combs and thinking about the twins who go to school with my daughter. And then I'm just thinking to myself, see, a lot of people will go after Diddy, beat him down for whatever he's either did or being accused of, uh, allegedly. And I was thinking about the family. I was thinking about the kids. I was thinking about the stress of yesterday I went home and all of a sudden I'm in handcuffs at the house. It's just trying my best to see things through the lens of the kids. I mean, listen, all those people have the right to feel that way. I'm, right. not, I'm not mad if they choose to support Diddy. I'm also not mad if you choose to shut the hell up. Personally, I don't see the need to condemn our support when I see situations like this because mm-hmm. for me, and I said this yesterday, it's just sad to watch another black icon end up in a situation like this. We don't know what's true and what's not true, but right. to see yet another one of our black cultural icons end up in a situation like this is very disappointing. Yeah, definitely. Some Slim Thug was saying the same thing. He was just like, basically, it's our people, other black people. He's disappointed in black people laughing at the situation and actually celebrating yeah. that, his, you know, what he's going through. I'm disappointed in black men putting themselves in these situations. Mm-hmm. So, you know, uh, uh, allegedly. I don't, allegedly. I'm saying, yeah, I was going to say, if, we just if, don't know. Yeah, if all these things about Diddy are true, then, you know, he will be held accountable. But it's still sad that, you know, someone who has it all could potentially burn it all down because they can't get out of their own way. Correct. Mm-hmm. That's sad. Yeah. I agree. That's just with the mess. Uh, for and the, the news is real. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we, when we come back, Teslin Figueroa will be joining us. And then comedian Bill Burr, so don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.